Alright, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another tutorial. Today I am going to be teaching you how to script ELS using Lidos. Now, Lidos are a bit different than Neons, but they're pretty much the same. It's just a little scripting difference. I know I've, my last three videos have been uh, tutorials on how to script ELS. I've changed my ways up a lot. So what you want to do is you want to get a car. It's going to be the same car as you would get anything. I'm going to be using this 2020, 2020, it's 2020 FBIU. And I'm going to go ahead and link this pack. I know I always say I'm going to link the pack and I always forget. I'm going to do it this time. This pack is basically a pre-lit pack with neons. It'll come, the pack that I'll link will have an area for neons and then this area will be lightos. So, as you can tell, it looks basically the same. No. What you want to do is you just want to get your life bar. So I'm going to go ahead and throw this Liberty on here. I'm just going to throw it on the car that you're going to be using. I'm going to be using this 20 FAU. So, why not? So we're going to kind of size that to how it's supposed to be. About there. About there. And, you know, it's always in line with the door. The door line. Because that's how it is in real life. Um, once you have it sized to your car, I'm going to go ahead and go into your car. I'm going to open it up. I'm going to body. You're going to create a model. You're going to create duplicate that model. You're going to have two models now. Two empty models. You're going to rename that one Light Bar Capital O. And then you're going to name this one Capital O Outfitting. Now, once you've done that, you want to drag your Light Bar into Outfitting that you just created. So then you want to go into your Light Bar. You want to go into Front. And this is basically going to be your front, so we can go ahead and drag that into the light bar. If we go into your rear, go ahead and drag that into your light bar, which you can, it's basically that, but we're only going to be doing the front for now. Um, so basically, you want to go W1, W2, W3, W4, W5, W6, and then these are takedowns, so we're going to leave these for TK1. TK2. That's just for if you're going to do takedowns. I'm not going to teach you takedowns at the moment. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and grab a car that I have that I know has neons on it. I mean, has all the stuff I need. So it's going to be this Vic. Um, I will be linking this car. This car will have all the stuff that you need in it. So once I, I'll, that'll be in the description. Um, so you want to go to light bar in the car. Copy the middles. You want to hit copy. You want to click on your car and you want to paste that into your light bar. You're going to drag your middle over into the car. You want to go into this, this Crown Vic. Grab your pickup. Now, this car, like you guys won't have to do any of this unless you're doing a different car. But if you're going to do this 20 FPI, you would already have all the stuff in it for you. Um, so once you do that, you want to create a model in your light bar. Duplicate it three times. You're going to call one of them front, side, and rear. And you're going to drag these into front because it is the front of the light bar. Now once you've done that, you want to go ahead and in that front, you want to go ahead and create a script. And then once you've created the script in the front, the front model, in the old tutorials, you would create it in the ELS folder, but right now you're going to be creating it in the actual model. So you're going to type the equals script.parent.parent.front while true do wait if script.parent.parent.values dot on dot value equals one then so it's basically the same as before but this is where it's gonna get a little tricky you want to do the dot w1 dot lido dot enabled dot false or equals false so if you old ELS when you're using neons it'll be you know the dot w1 dot transparency equals zero so if it's zero it means it's on and if it's a one it means it's off and it's basically the same thing here. If it's, if it's false, the lights are off. If it's true, if the light is on, or the lighto is on. 
So basically we have six of these. So we're gonna grab this, copy and paste it six times. Rename them two, three, four, five, six. You can kind of copy this and then you want to go else if script.parent.parent.values dot on dot value and then you want to paste that again. We're gonna leave it as false because this is the front. And usually in stage two vehicles, or if you're not in the in police cars, stage two is usually only back. Like I said, we're doing the front right now. And if I'm going a little too fast for you, I'm kind of in a rush, and you can always just slow down the video. Um, if you have any questions, I'll link my Discord in the description. You can join, open a ticket. Um, and then you're going to go ahead and type lsif script.parent.parent.values dot on dot value equals three then. So this is where we're going to change it up a bit. Um, this is where basically, this is where we're going to actually start scripting. You know, where we'll actually have to change it instead of everything being false. You're going to type for loop equals one comma three do and you're gonna type there you can either type all this out or paste what you already have copied and then we're kind of gonna just do eat every other one to be true so false true false true false true and you want to do weights 0 0.05 copy this paste it below and everything needs to be false so just like that this is what yours should look like as of now. You want to copy this, and under this, you're going to have three ends here. You're going to have one, two, and three. You want under the one, and hit enter, and you want to paste this again, and then whatever is a false needs to be a true. So this is going to be a false, this is going to be a true, that's going to be a false, this is going to be a true, and this is going to be a false. So basically that is it. So now that you've done such, you're gonna go ahead and copy this one that says all false. And you're gonna go on that first end again. You're gonna hit enter. And then what you're gonna do, you're gonna hit backspace and type else and paste this. So basically it has to be all false. And then pretty much what you've done is you've just scripted the first thing of your Lidos. So go ahead and hit apply edits. You can exit this out. And then once you're in, you wanna go ahead and make sure everything, we're gonna spawn in a random place far away from the car. I'm gonna hit play here. And once you're in it, so basically, as you can see, we only scripted these. And I just wanted to show you that really quick. And then what you're gonna do is you wanna go ahead and you don't have to do this because at this point you'll script everything else. I am gonna go ahead and just make these Lido's. Uh, let's see here. I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of the rest of these Lido's. Just so um, it doesn't mess with it. And then you can go here, play here. And then as you can see, the whole front is done because that is what we've scripted. Stage one is nothing, stage two is nothing like I said. And then you can go to stage three. And there you go. So that is basically, it's the exact same thing as, you know, neons. Apparently this car is extremely loud, holy macaroni. Um, it's the exact same thing as Neon's, it's just the script is a little different. So that is basically how you script Lido's in Roblox Studio. Um, I will be linking everything that I used in the description. I always forget, but I'm going to do it this time. Um, if you did enjoy this video, make sure you like, subscribe, and my name is Ben Brayden. Stay safe and take care.